Guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at Torquay Golf Club. I'm going to do a little review for you today on the Zrixen ZX5 driver. I've got Lester and Lee with me to help me review this product. We're going to get outside, hit some balls around the golf course, but we're also going to give you some numbers from what GC Quad is going to give us as well. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. There's lots of new content coming your way. Let's get out onto the golf course. First impressions on the golf course then, Lee? Um, I like these ZX. Um, drivers to be honest the ZX5 is a little bit too stretched back for my personal liking um, like you know just a bit stretched back at the back yeah but you looks prefer, wise, you prefer the other one the 7 I prefer the this, 7 as, as a not look as, not as stretched back is not it? as stretched back no and I just I think shelf appeal it looks fantastic but the face does look a little bit shallow yeah um, and that worries me okay so what they've done then is they stretched it back so they're trying to create the CG bringing it as far back as they can to get the high launch up and then obviously generally what you'll find with a stretch back driver is you're going to get a little bit shallower in that profile at the front there as well. Yeah. Um, just again all to help with making that face as wide as possible, getting the CG as far away from the face making it as forgiving as possible. But what I do like coming from Callaway Maverick is the fact it goes dark into carbon with the lipstick very Callaway-esque, like yeah. we said in the ZX7 review. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing I do like about this driver. Okay. Well, let's see how it goes into wind for you, Lee, because I'm expecting it to go with a little bit of uh, a little bit of spin. Right, down my forte. This is it. This is it. Into wind. Into wind. Left. Look out, everybody. That is down the left-hand side, Lee. You know what, I'm actually pleased with the strike. It sounded great, just because the of face to path was a slight issue, but... Um, well, yeah, but I kind great. of aimed down the left for that fade, so that's something I was looking for, but I didn't expect it to come out so low. So that's well, why... you shut the face massively down, so you've de-lofted it quite a lot in order for it to come out that far left, yeah. so that's probably why it's come out so low. But, no, I'm... As strange as it sounds, after hitting a tree, which is normal for me, um, it felt really good. It came out the middle, I just sort of de-lofted it and hit it straight into that tree. Give me your first thoughts on that driver then, Bernie. Yep, I um, I like it. You do like it? I do, you yeah. talking about it I got for a good, while. I got good um, feedback, good numbers in the studio, so it'll be interesting to see how it plays on a golf course. Yeah. Um, but initial pre first impression, I do like the look of it. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to see what sort of flight I get and what shape I get on the golf course. If it compared it to another driver out in the market, what would it be close to? I think Lee's probably hit the nail on the head earlier when he said one of the Callaway ones. Yeah. It's, it's quite rounded here. Yeah. Um, and also with that sort of inlay lipstick round, it makes it even more rounded by, yeah. by, its, by its visual. Um, so quite, it looks quite small as well, I think. I was going to say, for a more yeah. forgiving head, you think that looks I a lot looks smaller? smaller? It certainly looks smaller than my driver I'm using currently. Yeah. Um, also feels long because of the size of the head, so I do feel like it is quite a long shaft, but obviously it's not, it's not it's standard. It's standard, yeah, absolutely. But I do like it, yeah. It's, okay. um, well, let's see your uh, first tee shot with it then, into wind. I hope I strike it as well as Lee just struck Yeah, that, well, Lee did lower. sound great. That strike was such so a good So good. Yeah, just come out a little bit low, Bernie, so hopefully you can get a bit more height out of it. Oh, yes. Just sailing on the wind now, though, that one. Just might have hung on to the right edge of the fairway there, Bernie. That was a really good hit. How yeah, did that feel? Pretty good, yeah. I, I like this driver. Different um, sound to what Lee got. That was a little bit... Like, Lee's was a bit thuddier. Thud, that was yeah. a bit more of a tin on it. Yeah, but. that's the only thing. That, Maybe if you're not if you're not someone who likes that sound, a tinny sound, it is quite hollow, is or it, it does it, appear to be sound. Yeah. Certainly when I've hit it, so it's but quite um, a loud acoustics on it. For yeah, you, for I think liking. so. Yeah, it reminds me of the Cobras in the sort of late late 1990s when they first came. They were very tinny. It's well, like a bit like that. Us back a few years. That's, there, that's a long way back, isn't it? Oh, that is. <laughs> so what do you think then? Right, my first impressions looking down at this driver. I like it. I yeah. really, really like it. I, I said it in my rev in the review of the number seven version of this, so the smaller version of this, but I really like that little mark at the front. It enables me to frame the ball up, bang in the center of the club, which really does help for me. And I love what, what, what pretty much what Lee's saying as well. A little bit of lipstick running around the back, nice carbon finish on top. As you said, Lester, very similar to the Callaway as well. 
shelf appeal. I, I, yeah, I do like it as well. I think it kind of works. I think people are going to want to pick that up off the shelf when they see it. It's, um, yeah, I think the whole package is kind of there with this driver. I've, I've got to say in the past, I've not been a massive fan of the overall shape of a Strixon driver, but this one, I think they've pretty much got it spot on now. Wow, that was so loud. That was loud. Did you hear that? So I'm... Um Gone, it's gone, gone a bit deaf. Yeah. That really, that, that was <laughs> almost a bit of a shock to the system when that came off. Because obviously, when Le Lee hit his, it sounded quite thuddy. Yeah, but he hit Yours, the middle, and we yeah, didn't. Yeah, maybe apparently. that's what it was. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> well, if that's what it feels like, just off the outside of centre, so just off the toe of the club, you can see my uh, T mark there. So it's just come out, which is kind of where I like to hit a driver. But sound-wise, it's a no. Visually, straight off the bat. Yes, love it. I think it was going to really appear, appeal to a lot of people out there. Over here is you, Lester, just yep. in the left or right edge of the fairway. I've managed to keep it in the fairway. Lee, you didn't, yours was left, short left, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, short left is a good description. <laughs> okay. A good description. So for me, playing, and I've hit a decent shot there with that club, for me, playing into the wind. I felt like I had decent amount of control on the spin from that driver. I didn't think it was going to rise on me like possibly some other drivers can if you get way too much spin on it. So I think for both, probably mine and yours, Lester, I think that we got a decent flight out of it, a more of a penetrating flight. So before we go and hit any more drives with this one, let's just take you back to the studio, have a little look at the, some of the numbers that we got and also some of the tech that Strixon are telling us a bit more about this driver. Numbers, driver numbers. 155.4 on an average ball speed. So pretty good, you've got one out there at 160, nearly 161, so very, very good. Average launch 16.1, which is about kind of where you're at with your yeah, deliveries. But spin at 3,300, so really, really struggling to manage that spin yeah. when you're hitting your shots in the studio. Which is something why we, when we got fitted, I went to TS4, now I'm in Sub Zero just because of the spin. Yeah, trying to this, bring that spin number this down. For me is it's not, it's not really designed for probably for what your deliveries are, yeah. to be fair. And then 47 yards high on an average, and then 251. So that spin that you're getting out of it is just really, really hurting you. However, we've got a 270 there which has brought the spin down to sort of 2.9. Yeah. So it's not bad, it's just the odd one. I mean, if I took out that last shot at the bottom there, we're probably getting it down to two, yeah, it's still not making a massive shift, if yeah. I'm honest with you. So really, all in all, a little bit too spinny for you. But to be, but I enjoyed hitting it. It would be- It's, it's a nice feel, isn't it? It's nice something feel, nice I could enough. rain in to be a fairway finder. Yeah. You know, that safe fairway finder, low, yeah. high spin. Not that you'd probably go to a driver to do that though, would you? You'd have a three wood in the bag to cover that. What did you think of your numbers then, Bernie? No, a little, not struggling good. with not this good. one. Struggling a little bit. Yeah. Ball speed though, one five seven off the face. Yeah, pretty good. Quick off the face. Yeah, one up there at one sixty, which is very very good. Yeah. Again, launching at thirteen point two, which I think is not bad. No, that's you right. could probably shave like half a degree off that if you were looking for kind of like your best or best performing. But two nine in the spin. So a little lightly, yeah. a little bit spinny from what yeah. you're getting from this driver, which I think, if you look in a moment, will affect your numbers in the total distance. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been, it's been slightly, it would have been slightly higher, but I've got a 1900 one in there, but a lot you of them did, are yeah. twos, and I've even hit in the threes. Yeah, absolutely. Which is and way too 38 high. 38 yards high, so yeah. which is about, yeah, that's right. it's okay, it's manageable, yeah. but 259 in the, in the actual carry on an average. You've yeah. got one or two out there at 267, which is mm. your best. Yeah. But you've got more in the tank than that. I hope so. I do hope so, yeah. <laughs> but to be honest with you, the spin is just killing yeah. you a little bit there, I think, from this yeah, driver. Agreed. Everything else, I think, like Lee probably said, fairway finding club, probably going to be pretty good, pretty forgiving from that point. Yeah. But for distance and total carry, it's going to struggle a little bit for you. Correct. My numbers then, 156 on an average ball speed off the face, which is pretty good and it's been pretty consistent right the way through the numbers on here. 14.2 in the launch, so just that fraction high for me from a launch, if I'm looking for sort of to optimize the driver, I wanna try and get that down a little bit lower than that. Probably a degree lower would help. 
But 2-8 in the spin, again, like Lee and Leicester have both said, probably a very good fairway finding club this. Spinning it a little bit more might just get a, be a, enable me to be able to manage the golf ball just that little bit more. Peaking at 41 yards high, which is a fraction high for what I probably want to optimise. And then 262 on an average from the carry. I've got one out there at 266. I've got a couple in there, one at 265 and 264. So getting some decent numbers from it, considering it's launching a bit high and it's spinning just that fraction too high as well. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the spec of the Strixon ZX5. So unlike the ZX7, this only has one weight port, completely adjustable. There are different weights available. So when you are being fitted, this weight can be changed. The other thing it has is the rebound frame. Now the rebound frame, by focusing more energy into the golf ball, the rebound frame's unique structure increases ball speed and distance on every shot, especially centre face impacts. Gee. So the other thing it has is a 15% larger carbon crown. The carbon crown repositions mass lower, pushing the MOI up and increasing forgiveness. So this driver, the ZX5, is Srixon's more forgiving head, whereas the ZX7 is more the player's head. The head itself is a little bit more stretched, whereas the ZX7 is more the tall, uh, the tall preferred shape. This is a little bit more stretched to aid forgiveness. We're on the fifth hole and it's only right that we go for a longest drive. So decent numbers from the studio? Yeah, decent numbers. Uh, nothing spectacular, a bit spinny. Yep. But um, if I wanted a sort of fairway finder or I was losing a bit of confidence with my driver, I could certainly put this one in to replace it. We're gonna go for a bomb bomb. We're going for a long drive and up one here. up with these. It is downwind. It is downwind and you need to give it a good old smack, all right? So we're gonna go for the longest drive. As far up as you can get it, Lee. Oh, he loves this hole. What is it about this hole? Up the left-hand side, is that held up? Oh yeah, it's in the fairway. That is a bomber. That is a bomber. I don't think Too that's up, as long. <laughs> I don't think that's as long as the other Strixon number seven version. And we'll no. see when we get up there. And the wind is just as strong as when we played it the other day. Yeah. But definitely liking that, aren't you? Yeah. It's, um, I was actually surprised how low that came out, considering the spin numbers I was getting. Yeah. The downwind helps a little bit, but um, no, I was really impressed with that shot. Yeah, that was a great goal shot. Better nice than the first one. Nice little draw. Better than the first oh, we'll shot. We have another club in the bag soon. <laughs> <laughs> have you got anything to say about his drive? Well, I mean, even a blind school finds a nut occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bernie. So, good, decent numbers from the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this into the uh, sorry, downwind. Downwind is what we're looking for, isn't it? I just it, hope we this? don't knock it too past. Too far past. Over. Yeah, don't want to upset him here. No. He's putting this in the bag. He's already said it to me. Yeah. yeah. He's going to have 57 <laughs> clubs in his bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bernie, really stepping up to this one. Gone for it. A little bit on the right hand side. Is that coming back? No. Uh, is that coming back? No. No. Good hit though. Sounded good. Stuck it right. Um, Just didn't get the draw. No, I didn't. You went it for at a all. big slinger. Didn't quite get the draw. No. On it. So, do you think that possibly that's something to do with the driver? Do you think it's harder to shape these more yeah. modern, more forgiving drivers? Possibly, yeah. I mean, they're not. They are designed to hit the ball straight, aren't yeah, they? So, absolutely. Um, it was, yeah. It, it started right side and stayed right side, really, didn't, didn't it? Didn't get the movement. Didn't it. move at all. So, no. but you're, but you, you know, you like the driver. It's still okay, a good yeah. It's all right. It's, the numbers are decent. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So it's a good, it's a good driver. Nothing wrong with the driver. Probably the idiot on the end of it occasionally. Right, I'm going to try and get a bit of shape, so I'm going to need to really hook this. So I'm going to go against kind of what almost what Leicester's kind of suffered with where he's lost a bit of shape and you could argue that that's to do with the technology that's trying to keep the club or the ball as straight as possible but I'm going to try and get a bit of shape. I'll tell you what the other thing that's just jumped out to me at is how much the the glossy sort of finish on top here rolls around on top of the face. Can you see that? Now if you get this a little bit high on the face and you talk about sky marks and things like that you're already hitting the, the, the top part of that rail there is, uh, is paint. Now surely that's going to chip over time, do you think? I don't know, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely wrapped right the right way around the face there. Right, I need a big slinger to, to get anywhere near Lee. Big slinger. No, no, no. 
that has gone about 100 <laughs> yards. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> 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 what are you laughing at? <laughs> so unfortunately I've just hit the tree and dropped down but I did not get the shape that was not looking like it was ever going to come back from the amount that I've sent it out there now for me face to bath is obviously the important part on that these drivers can only help to a certain point but definitely that wasn't coming back you just picking that one up? I'm just going to pick this one up. Not, not, not part oh. of the longest drive competition. So that's the fairway there, and that's down there. And we, it is literally that is a, just a smooth pitching wedge for me back to the tee. <laughs> fairway done. There he is. He's a fairway, and he's the longest up here, Bernie. That's a two we, uh, mine obviously, we picked mine up and yours was over in the right hand rough down there. Yeah. Nowhere near as long as what Lee got out of that. Strixon King. You have, what? Um, you liking the Strixon drivers, aren't you? I uh, prefer the ZX7. Yes. Um, and I think this is a little bit further back from where the 7 was. Pretty similar conditions, I'd yeah, say, I'd to say, when I we tested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and I put that down to a little bit of spin, but as far as drivers go, it, I like both of them, I think that it's a fantastic driver, but this model in particular, a little bit too spinny, a little bit too high launching for me. Yeah, but really, really positive driver and, and I think he's going to, you know, sit quite nicely on the shelves in the shop. Yeah. You really think? Yeah, yeah, just middle of the, middle of the range for me, just, it's a, it's a decent driver, nothing yeah. wrong with it. It would suit some people, um, yeah, definitely worth a try. So performance wise with the ZX5, gotta say, fantastic. The looks, the feel, the sound, absolutely ticking all the boxes. Over the years, I've probably found that maybe I haven't gone towards a Strixon driver, haven't kind of liked the look of it, but this year's model, definitely one worth testing for yourselves. Let me know, put your comments down below. I'd like to hear what you think about, obviously, our review of this product. And are you a Strixon player? Would it, is it something you would kind of go for yourselves? We'd like to hear what you have to say. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll catch up with you again soon.